So over the next few minutes, we want to look at how a propeller gets to the feather position. So first, I'm going to look at a single acting uh, propeller. So this is a propeller that has some, some counterweights. And let's assume that the propeller is rotating, and then the engine suffers uh, an engine failure. So if the engine fails, so we in, in, the, in this position, the, the propeller is in hydraulic lock. So oil can't get in or oil can't get out. The propeller blade has been held in this position. The engine has now failed, so when it fails, the oil pressure here will be lost. Okay, so we've lost our oil pressure. But that doesn't affect the propeller yet. The, there is no uh, movement of oil uh, in, the, in the propeller cylinder due to the, the position of the pilot valve. Now normally we want uh, the counterweights uh, using their centrifugal force to bring the propeller to uh, a more coarse position and, it, and in this case we want it to go to all the way to fine. Sorry, all the way to feather. Yes. Um, but the engine has failed so the propeller will essentially won't uh, end up not ro rotating. It will probably windmill uh, but there won't be enough sufficient um, centrifugal force to bring the propeller to the to the feather position. So we need to to help it along to the to the feather position. So the first thing that must happen is the pilot would have to select uh, propeller feather. So the pilot selects the feather. The pilot valve uh, is lifted up into the feather position. And then inside the propeller hub, there is a feathering spring. So once the um, pilot valve has been lifted, there is nothing to stop the oil from being pushed back and draining back into the engine. So the spring here is going to force the piston back. And as it moves, it's going to push this oil back and back into the engine. So the spring forces the pedal all the way back until it hits the feathering stop here. And when it hits this stop, the pedal can't go any further. So we are at the feather position. It's straight on. Okay, so that's how it's how it's achieved with a single acting uh, propeller. There will be a, a feathering spring. With a double acting propeller, it can be slightly different. You can still you can still have the spring, but there is another way of doing it also. So here we have a double acting uh, um, propeller, and we're assuming that the pilot valve is already in a in the course pitch uh, position, so it's in the overspeed position. If we suffer uh, an engine failure, then we will lose all oil pressure. So all, all oil pressure will, will be lost. And when we suffer the engine failure, we, again, we want to put the propeller into the feather position. So the way of doing that is to have an, an electric pump, so a feathering pump. The reason it's electric is because the engine has failed. So the engine is not rotating to drive the, the oil out to the propeller. So we need another mechanism. So we're using a, a DC pump, in this case a DC pump. And that's going to take uh, engine oil, and it's going to pump it. It's going to go under pressure down through the coarse pitch tube. That's going to hit the piston. It's going to move the piston back until we hit the, the feathering stop. So the oil is under pressure from the feathering pump. It then moves the cylinder all the way back to the feathering stop. And that's how we have feathering position achieved uh, on a, on a double-acting uh, propeller. You might just see that action again. So the oil is pumped using the electric pump down through the coarse pitch tube, hits one side of the piston, and that's going to push the 
piston back until it hits the feathering stop and at that stage the piston can't go back any more and the propeller is in the feather position.